Um, I'm going to show data looking at the role of surgery in patients who present with metastatic disease uh, with their primary tumor still intact. Uh, we know that surgery for the colon tumor in this setting is of uncertain benefit. There's almost no prospective data on this topic. The retrospective data that we have, primarily from the 1990s, indicates that when patients in this category are treated with initial chemotherapy, about 20 to 30 percent require subsequent intervention with surgery to treat the primary tumor. Uh, however, there's no proven benefit on survival, and to this day, uh, these operations are frequently done. Uh, there's variation in practice pattern. The rationale for upfront surgery is that it prevents future complications such as colon obstruction, bleeding, or perforation. At our institution, we've adopted a different policy since the advent of modern uh, multidrug chemotherapy, and that is that if the primary tumor is asymptomatic, we treat these patients with systemic chemotherapy. And today I'd like to present the results of this treatment uh, approach uh, from a six-year period. Uh, so this is a retrospective study from Memorial Sloan Kettering patients, and all the patients were treated uh, were di uh, treated at our institution so that we could capture all the late events. We chose the period from starting in 2000 because this is when multidrug arenatecan oxaliplatin oxaliplatin based chemotherapy was used routine routinely for these patients, and we. Uh, studied patients through 2006 to assure we'd have at least a minimum uh, two-year follow-up for the patients. The inclusion criteria were all patients who had an intact uh, uh, metastatic disease documented, that the primary tumor was intact but was relatively asymptomatic with no major bleeding, uh, perforation, or obstruction, and as I mentioned, they were treated at our institution. The data is as follows. There were 233 patients identified in this retrospective uh, chart review, and these were all the patients that met those criteria during that time frame. And the important point that our study showed was that the vast majority, 89% of these patients, never developed symptoms from their colon tumor that required uh, urgent surgical intervention. 10% of the, or 4% of the patients, or 10 patients, did develop colon symptoms down the line, but these symptoms were successfully managed without surgery with either endoscopic stenting for about two thirds of these patients or radiation treatment for uh, three rectal cancer patients who developed uh, obstructive symptoms. The other important number is that 16 patients, or 7%, did require non elective surgery on the colon down the line and uh, the vast majority were for 80% were for obstruction or perforation. And among these 16 patients who required late surgery, two of these patients died, which represents a mortality rate of the overall population of 0.8%. I would just point out this compares very favorably to historical data that indicates upfront surgery has anywhere from a 1% to 5% mortality rate when it's done routinely. So in conclusion, we observed that 93% of patients never required colon surgery to treat complications from the primary tumor. These patients were able to begin chemotherapy immediately, and the costs and risks of colon surgery were avoided. And we believe this non-surgical approach should be regarded as standard practice for this patient population. Thank you.